Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Philippines will welcome 12 new senators Thursday after the Commission on Elections finishes canvassing at the Philippine International Convention Center. Comelec Commissioner Rowena Guanzon says the National Board of Canvassers will proclaim the senators along with newly elected party list groups. In the winning circle, based on the latest tally, Frank Drilon, Joel Villanueva, Tito Soto, Ping Lacson, Dick Gordon, Mig Subiri, Manny Pacquiao, Risa Ontiveros, Kiko Pangilinan, Winga Chalian, Ralph Recto, and Laila De Lima. 13th placer Francis Tolentino earlier requested to block the proclamation until 100% of the votes are canvassed. His closest rival, De Lima, is ahead by around 1.29 million votes. <laughs> Technology provider Smartmatic says it has no intention of leaving the Philippines after it was accused of breaching election-related protocol. Commission and Elections Commissioner Rowena Guanzon earlier issued a memo urging the poll body to stop Smartmatic officials from leaving. But the company says the memo is unnecessary. They intend to fully cooperate with whatever investigation that Comelec calls for or any political party calls for. So they have no intention of leaving the country as well. So it's really unnecessary to even have a whole bunch of work. Smartmatic was criticized for changing the hash code without the Comelec and Bank's permission. Vice Presidential Bet Bongbong Marcos uses this unauthorized move to insinuate rival Lenny Robredo cheated in the May 9 polls. An addition to President-elect Rudy Duterte's cabinet, Las Piñas Representative Mark Villar accepts the Department of Public Works and Highways portfolio. Mark is the son of former Senator Manny Villar and incumbent Senator Cynthia. The elder Villar earlier said federalism will likely benefit property developers. His company Vista Land has properties in 95 cities and municipalities nationwide. This comes as Duterte plans to push for a federal form of government to empower the provinces. Still in the Villars, Cynthia Villar is still the richest among Philippine senators based on her 2015 statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth. She declares a net worth of over 3.5 billion pesos in 2015, 43 percent higher than her 2014 net worth, pegged at about 1.9 billion pesos. She has no liabilities. On the other end is Senator Chis Escudero, the poorest senator with a net worth of over 5.8 million pesos. His fellow vice presidential bet Senator Sonny Trillanes is second poorest with a net worth of 5.9 million pesos. The report doesn't include the 2015 sal end of Senator Alan Cayetano, who was worth about 23 million pesos in 2014. The International Space Station orbits Earth for the 100,000th time Monday. American flight engineer Jeff Williams calls it a significant milestone and a tribute to a, quote, international partnership made up of the European Space Agency of Russia, Canada, Japan, and the United States. Williams is on his third ISS mission. The first section of the ISS station, called Zarya, launched into space more than 17 years ago on November 20, 1998. The ISS is expected to operate until 2024. <laughs> That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.